This is Jamie from Stillmeyer Games. I'm here on Friday, January the 6th for game 41, round three of Rolling Realms. And today we have three promo realms. So hopefully you can play along. If not, these are available on our web store. Um, we have Smitten, the latest game from Stillmeyer Games. Architects from the, of the West Kingdom from the wonderful Garp Hill Games. And Honey Buzz. Honey Buzz from... Um, from Elf Creek Games, my disc golfing buddy, Paul designed Honey Buzz and had a positive impact. He designed a lot of this realm too. So let's jump in and play these realms. I'll talk about them a little bit as I go. And it's been a little while since I played Architects. So I'll need to refresh myself on that one a little bit. So we start off with a pair. Let's see if that's any good for any of these realms. So a pair of twos. Start off with a pair of twos. So in Architects of the West Kingdom, in one of the rows we want, um, we're going from left to right and we either want high to low numbers or low to high numbers. You can see that in the realm right there. So two is pretty good. I like the two. Honey buzz, we need to, you'd have to go all out at honey buzz. Honey buzz is difficult to complete. Um, and smitten, smitten is a resource generator once you get it moving. So I definitely would like to put something in smitten. What do I do? Do I do I sacrifice a little bit for Honey Buzz, or go for Architects? And Architects, you need. Let's see. You kind of need ten numbers to make Architects happen, so it's going to be difficult, but it is possible. Hmm. Well, I know Smitten's going to get a two, so let's put us a, a two. Let's put it. Let's go for. Um, so Smitten, you, you write down the number, and then uh, you can put the sum of both numbers in the uh, on the other grid, as long as, and whenever you write down a number, Smitten, you can't write down the same number that's in either of the grids. See, Chad just popped in. Chad's been joining us this week. Thank you, Chad, for, for joining me for round three here. So I want to put four over here somewhere. Let's put the four up there in the grid. So a four and the two. Where do I put that other two? So I don't get anything yet from Smitten. Um, Honey Buzz, there are two opportunities for twos. One could be a pretty good resource generator. Let's give it a try. Means I have to give up on Architects a little earlier than I'd hope, but I, I can still do plenty of things in Architects. Ooh, another pair. All right, well maybe we can copy one of these if I can end up with two hearts. So I can put a five right here and then a five. Oh yeah, yeah, let's do this. Let's put a five right there to get a heart. And then let's put a five, uh, yeah, we'll put a five right here to get another, oh no. Uh, yeah, so I put the five right there in Smitten, I get a heart. I then can put the sum, the 10 in the other grid and that can get us a coin. Put the 10 right there. And now I have two, oh, and that gives me a coin. I could now put a one or a five over in Honey Buzz. I lean towards the five just because it might be a little bit more rare and I can I can copy it right now with as, as a pair, a rolled pair. So let's put that right there. We're actually pretty close to already completing one of those Honey Hexes. Okay. A six and a four. A six and a four. I like the four in Architects. We want to go descending numbers right here. So yeah, let's, I think I'll go, I'll go four right there in Architects. That gets me a star. Um, the four, where do I want to put that? Oh, that was the four. So six could go over here in Honey Buzz. I think a one might be a little bit better in Honey Buzz right now and I can create a one. So let's put a six over in Smitten. We want to use the 10 as well. So I'll put the six I'll put the six right here and the 10 on the other side. So that's a coin and the 10 will go, let's put the 10 up here, a 10 to get a pumpkin. Pumpkin and a coin. And we'll create a one value die to put in Honey Buzz down here. We're hoping for another three or one in Honey Buzz. Chad says he's playing again later. He's not playing against live. Feel free to chime in if you are playing again live. Again, try to play up playing live, but Chad, thank you for watching along live. Turn four, a four and a three. 
We said, or I said I wanted a three in Honey Buzz. I got it. I will probably use it for that purpose. Although I also want a three in Architects of the West Kingdom. So which one should I do? Um, and there is another place that I could use that for in Honey Buzz that's also pretty good. Hmm. You know, let's keep going Architects. Let's put that three right here and get two hearts. And then the four, I need to put the four over here in Smitten. You know, I could do this. I'll put the four right here in Smitten. That gets me a heart, and I'm going to spend three hearts now to copy the three and put that over here in Honey Buzz. That gets me a star, so I complete this Honey Hex. And so I get a star, a pumpkin, and a heart. This is what you need to do in, in Honey Buzz. Get that resource generation going. Chad says, I'll have to take some time to wrap my head around these new realms before I start on them. Yeah, they are, uh, I think they're pretty intuitive once you get to play them, but uh, but uh, figuring them out, solving them, I think is, is, the, is the difficult puzzle. All right, we've used all three realms to great success. I'm looking for a one here. I'll, I can just create a one. A f another four and a three. Okay. So I need to, oh, I didn't write down another number in Smitten. I'm sorry. I had a four and a three, so I need to write down a seven over here in Smitten. I'm going to go ahead and do it retroactively. Probably would have gone for a coin. So put a coin right there. So I need to do the opposite, I think. I need to put a three over here and a seven over here in Smitten. I'll go for... I'll go for another coin. So this will be the three for a coin. And then the seven will go on this other side. Let's go for another heart. Seven. Okay, we have some numbers to play with. So I've used the three. I still can use the four. Hmm. Four isn't great in Architects, although I could use it right here to get two coins. That can be nice. I kind of do like that. Yeah, let's put the four. That is a little bit giving up. Hmm. I think I can do better. Let's put the four down here. I'll put the four right here. And I will create a one value die to use in Architects right there to get a pumpkin. Feeling pretty good so far. It'll get pretty tight and smitten in a minute, but so far so good. Turn six, another pair of twos. That's not great for smitten. Yeah, smitten, you can't write down the same number. So in Smitten, I can write down the two in one of these grids, but two plus two is four, and I already have a four in the other grid. So I don't even know if this is the best number to use in Smitten, so let's come back to that. I definitely want a two in Architects right there. Let's get that going. And that is a star. Oh, I could have used the two right there as well. Hmm, that might be better, actually. To use the two down below. I might go with that because I don't really need to finish off either of these rows and I could use a two or a one there. So that's one of the twos. The other two can go over here. Let's put it right there. And I don't know if I do anything in Smitten because I can't, well, I might as well do something, I guess. I might as well put, uh, no, I'm not going to do anything. not going to do anything in Smitten. We'll wait. All right. Hey, Garrett's popping in. Garrett says, hope you have an awesome weekend. Looking forward to catching up on these rounds tomorrow or Sunday. I hope you have fun with them. Yeah. Do you and Chad, uh, separate people here, but in the comments, do you guys have any weekend plans coming up? I'm going to play some disc golf, I think, on one of the mornings. And then I'm finally going to watch the movie RRR. I've heard people say great things about it, so I'm looking forward to watching that. We're going to order some Indian food and watch RRR. Hey, George is here too. He says he's going to join tomorrow morning here. It's very late at night and he is out having fun. I hope you have a good, good night, George. Thanks for popping in to say hi. I rolled a two and a one while I was talking to these guys. Two and a one. We can make that work over here because I, I can put a three on this side. So I can put a two or one over here. Let's go with a one right in the middle. That gets me nothing. And then, so do I want to put that there or do I want to wait? Because I can get a resource right away. I'm okay with that. 
I'm okay with that. And then the three I'll put on the other side. And I'm going to try to start trying to complete these stars. So I'll ignore this bottom space. I know I need to ignore one. And I'll put the three up here to get a pumpkin. And so that was me using the one. Where can I use this two? I can manipulate the two to go off a little bit in Honey Buzz. But I think I'll wait a little bit longer. Yeah, because I can just create a one. I'll put the two up here in Architects. There we go. And I will create a one right there to trigger this honey hex. That's two coins, a heart, and a pumpkin. That felt good. Garrett says he's planning to finish taking the decorations down and getting undaunted Stalingrad to the family to the table finally. I've heard great things about that. And Chad says he plans to finish up a rule book that he's working on and do some playtesting this weekend. That's awesome. I love a good design weekend. I hope you have fun with that. Turn eight. Uh-oh, run out of time here. Did I do everything I needed to do? A pair of sixes. Six and six. That actually works great for Smitten. I have the hearts to copy the six. We're going to do okay here. Yeah, and I can use the six down in Honey Buzz too. Okay, how do we play this out? I really need a three. Three is going to be huge in Honey Buzz if I can pull that off. So here is, where do I want to put the first six? Let's start right here in Honey Buzz. We're not getting any payoff in Honey Buzz, and that's okay. Yeah, put it, put it right there. I think. Um, the second six, let's put it over here and go after these stars. I'll put it right there, six, gives me a pumpkin, and then a 12 on the other side, 12 right there, gives me a heart, and then I'll pay two hearts to use the six here in Architects, also spend a pumpkin and a heart to get a coin and a star. I'm going to be a little short in some of these rooms, but we'll see how it works out. Uh, Chad says he's going to get Caper Europe to the table with his lovely wife. That's a fun game. Do I want to push anything else here while, while I am here? I don't think these are the dice to do it with. Two sixes. I really need a three in Honey Buzz. Yeah, I'm good. Although, I guess the other thing I could do... No, I'm good. Nope, I'm not good. So I, I could, the one other thing I could do is create a one value die, use three pumpkins, right? So I can reuse Smitten. Put that one right here and also put the 12 over here. So I can, I, I know what the die roll is right now. I don't know what the final die roll is. And I can't change that. So I actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gamble a little bit here. Let's, I'm actually avoiding gambling. Um, I'm going to put the one right there to get two stars. I'm going to put the 12 right here to get that other star and a pumpkin. Other star and a pumpkin, or other two stars and a pumpkin. And we'll see if I get a little bit lucky on the roll. All right. A one and a five. Yeah, see, I, I, would have, I would have gotten unlucky there on the roll because I already have a six in both grids, but I don't have a five in this one. So I could complete, I could complete a, a grid over here if I needed to. So that's a star if I wanted. If I want to put a five right there. This is also a, a, a star for that five. And I need a three over in Honey Buzz. So I wish I had rolled a three. That would definitely help. So either way, wherever I put a five... I will, uh, and it's probably better to put it here. I'm getting a better, better payoff here. So let's put the five right there. That is a completed grid. That's my f the final star I can actually get from Smitten because I can't write down a six in the other grid. I guess I could create a number later and do that, but that's, that will be expensive. That is a pumpkin and a coin. Now I can create this three that I've been waiting for. I think I might as well do it. So let's create a three, put that in Honey Buzz. So that three 
for this honey hex is worth a star and a coin. For this honey hex that it also completes, it gives me two stars and one of each resource. That's great. I haven't used the one yet. Um, if I have a way to copy that five, I could get another star from Honeybuzz. I could also get a star here. But what I need is a... Uh, is a two. So, it's, so the one isn't good enough. And I've already used spin, so I would have to use three pumpkins to do it again. So I could use that one plus three pumpkins to put a two right here in Smitten. That gives me two hearts and the last star in Smitten. And it lets me copy that five and use it in Architects, which I have not activated already this round. So here's three hearts. Copy that five, use it right there, spend a pumpkin, and gain another star. Not too bad. I guess I could have done it. I could have done it in Honey Buzz too, but uh, but that was that was fun to do in Architects. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, I am happy with this result. This is a total score of fifteen point five for my final round. Yeah, if you want to see here, I, I really end up holding these up in case you want to see what I finally ended up with. There's Smitten. Here's Architects of the West Kingdom. Chad says, nice improvement from last game. Yeah, last last round was uh, or last round was was rough. And Honey Buzz right there. All right, Chad, Garrett, George, thanks for chiming in today. Anyone else who chimes in in the future, let me know what you score in the comments below. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you in a few weeks for game 42. Take care. Bye.